Hi Cartwright, my name is Leah and I'm going to be taking you through how to log in and set up an Animoto video slide. Before we can begin, you need to know what Animoto does. Animoto is an online web 2.0 tool that takes pictures and music and puts them together in a lively slideshow format. You can use it for many different things. This is an example on the Animoto for Education website. This teacher used her students to create the alphabet letters in real life. Then the teacher uploaded the video into Anim the pictures into Animoto and this is what came out. So let's get started. On your main Animoto page, click get started. You will have to use a sign up. It is free and you'll be able to create 30 second videos. If this is something you'd like to do more, you can click down on the bottom under education and using your teacher school address, your school email address, you can sign up for an all access pass which will give you full length video options. It, once you've logged in, it's as easy as one, two, three. First, you need to find pictures from your computer once you've found your pictures, you can either choose music that they have selected for you, or you can upload. And then the third step is to finalize your video. Animoto does this automatically, so all you have to do is hit continue. So let's begin creating our slideshow. I've already uploaded, my, I've already found all my pictures, and I'm going to be doing an example slideshow on the biomes of the world. I created a folder on my desktop, and I have all my pictures here. So we'll go select all these pictures and upload them into Animoto. This might take a bit depending on how big your pictures are. Now my pictures are in the correct order, I can add some text in. Realize that as you're putting text in, you are limited by the characters in the title and the subtitle. Now that my pictures and text are in, I'm going to put some music into my slideshow. Animoto already has copyright friendly music uploaded into their server, so I'm going to select from their collection. If you have students working on this, this is where they might take a little bit of time deciding what their favorite music is. Animoto already has music separated into genres to make it a bit easier to choose a soundtrack to go along with your slideshow. In order to preview, just hit play and then you'll see a button down here. Please don't me. Remember to try and choose music that goes along with your slideshow. Once you've selected your music, just hit save and continue. Now we're on to the last step of finalization. I'm gonna have this be a video length of short to have it be 30 seconds. Once I've selected my speed and my video length, just hit continue. I need to give it a title and a short description. And then all I'll do is hit create video. What you're seeing now is the processing, analyzing, and rendering stage. Animoto does this for you and will send you an email confirmation when your video is finished. And through the magic of computers, here's our final project. Now that your video is done, you're going to want to share it. Click on Video Toolbox at the bottom, and you have a couple of options. The best things you'll want to do, you can either download your video so you can share it with other people, or you can embed it, pull up the HTML code, and put it in a blog or a website. Well, that's all that I have for you from Animoto. I hope that you learned something and you can take it back to your classrooms.